it all the 911 calls from my address since October 2020. There's countless stuff. Use the Freedom of Information Act and get all of those 911 calls, my address, then get all of the ones at my mom's address. And you will see why. This countless over there for the past seven years, uh, starting 2017. When my dad passed, mom couldn't come blame my dad anymore for all the problems, all of her self-loathing. So she started blaming the neighbors and calling the police about them and then having police call me. That's 911 abuse. Now, the judge back then decided this well, it's mental illness. She's elderly and dismissed the case and then the resistance the cops have been given me when I attempt to find that case, that judge, it's been, um, it, it's uh, restricted. Why is it restricted? Why the police officer gave me the, the post-it note with the case number, it was the wrong case number. Why another police officer that I asked called Sergeant Lafferty to give me the special treatment that's the top of the playlist right now. Why? <laughs> this is intentional 911 abuse, malicious, and when the last time I talked to Sergeant Vass about filing that violation, he goes, well, it's her word against yours. You don't know the intention. You don't know the intention. She's been calling daily seven years. You don't know still to this day. You don't know. I keep telling you every day that's an untreated mental condition, intentionally untreated mental condition. Okay? So get all of the 911 calls there. My mom's house, countless of them, practically daily for the last seven years. All of the ones I was getting from the squad were in my house. Okay? Then, after all of that, look at the call that, um, the intentionally malicious and conniving and, and 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 methodical, the one Anita put together. So she said, I didn't do it, Netta did it. She manipulated Netta to do it, who has the same similar condition but my mom house go, has, go figure. And then she had Anita, Netta do it as a concern about Peter, which is completely bogus, and he did it as a wellness. This is very, very contrived. And if you understand and listen to her explaining it, why it had to be about Peter, why it was a wellness report, so then it's not a violation. It's intentionally malicious police report and then that alone just look at that one element of it alone the number of it I've gotten at my mom's house the number they've gotten it I've gotten it at my house and then it is that is violation of code and then the because like what's called the the squad was expert and do it all the ways to destroy my life that wasn't in the code in the penal code got to connect the dots and then, then you will see what it is and then you will go and look at all of the past addresses where the squatter has had 911 calls repeatedly more than say, for months or perhaps years and look at those. You will see the conclusion that you will not be able to escape is that the reason there are so many squatters and scammers and the countries of the way it is, is that police are trained with these 
policies and the laws are intentionally maliciously made in a way to carry out these crimes by definition these are crimes but they're designed to be stealth and the, the penal code is made to allow them to happen. The police, we train, the politicians, we vote into office, make criminal activity and do it in the covert way. And so, um, to make it, to have it stay below the radar, and it happens all over the country. So many are suffering right now because of the laws that we voted into, uh, into uh, the penal code and the policies, the police training, and the, are there maliciously to do harm and to profit from it using police authority. All the methods they use Everything they did to us, and all the people they've done it to, all on national television. In Jesus' name, amen.